The John Morris Show, episode 120. In this episode, why WordPress doesn't suck. The John Morris Show, your life on code. Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show on johnmorrisonline.com. So let me state it very plainly. Using a tool like WordPress is by far the fastest way to jumpstart your web development career, carve out more time, and leverage that time to learn new skills so you can get paid even more. And I got a perfect example of this from D over on YouTube just the other day. Hey John, I wanna thank you again for your advice on keeping an open mind about CMSs. I completed an amazing site in two days that would have taken me months months to build out from scratch. So you have no idea how much your videos have helped me get out of my funk in web development. I have two prospective clients just from seeing the site that I built with WordPress. And I will most likely continue building out my sites with WordPress while expanding my skill set to create my own themes and plugins. Thanks again, man. What you're doing is freaking awesome. So in two days, he built a site that would have personally taken him months to build from scratch. And as a result of that, he now has two prospective clients and likely plenty more clients to come in the pipeline. So let me ask you, do the, well, it has procedural code in it arguments of the know-it-alls that you see on the web sound as convincing in comparison to D's story? Do you really care all that much? Now, yes, sure, though that kind of thing might make you feel important. It might make you feel superior. And you might get a moment of feeling self-righteous and better than everybody else. But I have to ask you, will that put food on the table? Will it pay for your Pokemon Go habit? Will it make your kids proud of you? Is it worth going to a job you hate every day working for someone you can't stand? No. Yet, Despite all of that, you still have guys that say things like this. WordPress is a nightmare. They are stuck with procedural code because they are a victim of their success. Who on earth is writing this stuff? How can such a number of individuals jump on the wagon and coding this way? Now, surely they think they are great developers, and in a sense, You have to be just to make your way in this awful bowl of spaghettis. And I don't think PHP is to blame here. In 2014, it is now a mature language and fully object-oriented with some great frameworks like CodeIgniter or Laravel that match Ruby on Rails. I hate to see, this is the whopper line here. I hate to see our profession stained with this WP infamy that has spread like a virus on the web. The only problem in the greatest democratic quality of PHP is that anyone can code and output something on the screen. But now that their ecosystem is in place, what you gonna do? We'll just wait another five years and see it fall in oblivion at last. Now, honestly, I mean, I don't, I don't even believe, I mean, can you feel the the arrogance, right? Stained with this WP infamy. I mean, really? (laughs) Come on. I think all of this is really just about sounding superior. It's about pumping up his busted ego in order to make himself feel more important. It's almost like this really weird, dev-related kind of anti-WordPress virtue, virtue signaling. 
Kind of like, I hate WordPress, therefore I'm a good coder. Go away. Look, here's the thing. You use whatever tool you want. Or if you prefer, don't use any tool at all. But do whatever you need to do to get the job done in the best way that you can. And don't worry one single bit about what clowns like that might say. Because the truth is, this is your life. And you cannot let the fear of these kinds of know-it-alls hold you back and stop you from going after what it is that you really want and doing it in a smart way. And if you are smart like D was, then what you'll do is you'll keep an open mind to a tool like WordPress or whatever else. And you'll see what you can accomplish by leveraging that tool instead of thinking that the only way to do it is that you have to do everything from scratch or you're not a real coder. I'm convinced you can start getting paid to code much faster if you do that, which is what I think we all want. And then you can use your extra time to become a PHP god. And for those of you who are exceptionally genius, then you can fast track your career even further by letting someone else download all the WordPress knowledge that you need into your brain for you, instead of thinking that you have to go out and find it all yourself. And instead of rummaging blindly in the dark for a scrap here and a scrap there, you can have someone give you that knowledge and download it into your brain for you. And you can get that by enrolling in Brad Hussey's WordPress course and blast out of the gates of your career just like D did. And you can roll on that course at johnmorrisonline.com slash WP theme. And remember, as a listener of this show, you can get 40% off any course over on Udemy until August 1st of 2016. So be sure to go enroll and get that discount before you forget and miss out for good. And you're welcome. All right, that'll do it for this episode. If you like this episode, be sure to like it so they know that you like this kind of content. If you know somebody who could benefit from hearing this, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And for those of you watching on YouTube, if you prefer, you can get the podcast version of this show at johnmorrisonline.com slash Android for your Android device and johnmorrisonline.com slash iTunes if you're an Apple fanboy. All right, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.